All right, guys, go ahead and slide down into this little hole right here. We've had a lot of success in the past. Drop that little minnow spinner into the creek here. And wow, guys, that thing looks gorgeous. No wonder. So many of you guys have been recommending that. The thing actually swims upright. I was kind of concerned that it may not. The head in the back there does stay upright. The belly towards the bottom swims just beautifully. Let's go ahead and make us a few flips in here. We'll just do some flips and drags with it. Very small hole here. No need to make a full cast, but just flip it into the creek. Let it sink a little bit. Just work it back to us. Oh, that looks just gorgeous in here, guys. Fantastic looking little bait right there. Not seeing too many fish in this old run, though. Hmm, it's even got a nice little jigging action there, guys. Let that thing sink and just give it some pops. Oh, yeah. Well, not seeing any fish in this run. So we're going to go ahead and pack it up, head to a little bit wider section of this creek where we can make some casts with it. We'll see if we can't get ourselves one on the line. Made our way on up here to this little run, a little bit, a little bit wider, a little bit deeper. We're going to fish the old minnow spin through here. See if we can get one on. I can say this is a pretty shallow running spinner. I'm not actually sure what weight this one is. Let's see here, 3 16th ounce. So that does make sense, quite light. But it does have really good castability. You can absolutely chunk this thing a country mile. But it doesn't sink that good. So it gives you the opportunity to kind of slow roll it if you want to. Which is pretty nice. Even in this super shallow water, we can slow roll that thing pretty slow. Definitely at a fair speed for an old trout to chase. So we'll work it on through here. Try not to get her hung up. We've only got two. We'll see what we can do in this little run right here, guys. So go ahead and stick with us. We'll try to get our first fish on. Well, guys, we've spotted our very first fish of the day over there, but it has not reacted to the spinner the first time, which is quite interesting. I know it's seen it because it's avoided it, but no reaction. Quite interesting. First thing in the morning, you would think that spinner would get their attention. But we fished this entire little section right here from left to right. Only spotted the one fish, no attention from that fish. So unfortunately, guys, it's not looking too good for the old minnow spin here, but we're going to keep it moving. We're going to try to find us some fish. This creek is highly pressured, but also heavily stocked. So there should be plenty of holdovers in here. So let's go on ahead and keep it moving downstream here, guys. See if we can't find ourselves some takers. Got him. <laughs> wow, guys, there we go. We have fished our butts off this morning. Two and a half hours of steadily grinding. We finally got a fish to react to that old Vibrax spinner. Wow, 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 guys. What a grind it has been. We ran this one past that old fish's nose a time or two, and she had to have it. There we go. Got in the net. She kicked that old spinner for us, guys. Very first fish of the day. It has been an absolute struggle. Let's let her go on back in there. Happy and healthy. Heck yeah, guys. One fish on that thing. Maybe all we get today, we're going to keep at it and hope that we can trick ourselves another one. But wow, guys, a big grind for a very beautiful bait. We'll just have to keep at it. See if we can't get ourselves another one. Oh no, that was our second chance right there, guys. Our drag slipped. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, that's okay. Stuff will happen. And sometimes you can only get the opportunities that you're given. That fish there struck for us. We just swung and missed. Nothing you can do about that, guys and girls. Nothing you can do about that. Got him. Oh, he kicked it again. 
Oh my gosh, guys, two back-to-back -back bites, two back-to-back -back misses, and that big oversized hook, plenty sharp, guys. Wow, 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 what terrible luck. Alrighty, guys, so we fished that old blue fox, minnow vibrax, all up and down this creek. We only caught that one fish, and we only had a few that bit. Most of them did pop off, though. Not what you like to see, but it does happen. So I'm thinking we're going to go on ahead and switch up tactics here, guys. We're going to grab the old NRV baits, trout torpedo. We changed out that hook with a little single hook with a little bit of a spot onto it there. The one of you subscribers actually sent me in the mail. Special thanks to you for those. But we're going to go ahead and bomb this round in here, guys. Make several casts with it. And we're going to see if we can't catch us a fish on the old NRV baits, trout torpedo. Something tells me that the smaller pattern and the smaller design of it is going to get a lot more attention and we're likely gonna catch a couple fish on it. Now I'm not sure, as today has been super tough, and I didn't initially intend on making this a one versus one challenge, but I have a feeling this is the perfect opportunity to do so. We fished that Vibrax up and down this creek from one end to the other. And all we're really looking for, guys, is one fish to tie and two fish to beat it. So we're gonna fish our way back down, cast out all of them old stubborn fish we casted out earlier, and just see if we can't trick one of them into biting. Got him on. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Put on that old trout torpedo. And there she is. Got her in the net. There we go, guys. Only a couple casts in with that old trout torpedo. And this one right here had to have it. Here we go. Pop her off nice and smooth. We'll let that little beauty go right there. There she goes. Happy and healthy. Heck yes, guys. Man, that fish came all the way across the creek chasing that torpedo, but never committed. We'll try him again right here. Maybe we can get his attention this time. Nope, didn't even chase that time. Very interesting. Well guys, it's pretty safe to say that the old spinner bite is just not the deal today. They're just not in the mood for chasing. So I'm thinking we're gonna go on ahead and call it right there. We have been fishing our absolute butts off out here today. And the fish just are not cooperating guys. But we did manage to get one on that trout torpedo that nice little fly tied on the end there and we managed to catch one on that old minnow vibrax version but all in all guys super tough day of spinner fishing that's just how it pans out sometimes but we're going to go on ahead and call it a day right there but i would like to mention guys if you want a chance to win one of those minnow vibraxes just like we use today all you've got to do is head on there into the description drop me a comment any comment will do but if you win and you decide you would rather have a trout torpedo that is completely okay as well but once again guys just drop that comment down below that is your entry for a chance to win you must be subscribed to win otherwise you just simply cannot claim your prize but get if you can boys and girls do yourself some fishing and have some fun most importantly be safe and tight lines